Hey, welcome once again. My name is Debo Nofuora. Uh, in our class today, we'll be looking at substrate preparation. That is how you prepare your substrate. Remember we told you we mix our substrate for a number of reasons. So you get to see how we do that. And then how we set our irrigation line, the drip irrigation line, why we do what, and the other thing. So stay tuned as we continue into this class. Thank you. Hi folks, Adebola Watsune is my name. I'm the project coordinator for BIC Farm. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I miss my substrates and also how I lay my irrigation system. Um, firstly, here I have my fresh water, my cocoa peats, and my rice hogs. As you can see, here is a sample of it. Um, and also my pH meter. I'm going to be testing my pH of the water um, this is my pH meter. You can get this from BIC Farm if you don't mind. Uh, I'm testing the pH meter of the water now. Um, this is 6.8, which is still okay for this mixture. Um, now I'm going to dissolve my cocoa pits. This is a block of cocoa pits. I'm going to throw this one inside the water leave about some minutes um this cocoa pit is about 5 kg and to dissolve it we need about um 25 to 30 liters of water as you can see the cocoa pit has loosened up why we use cocoa pit is because it has high water retention it can hold a lot of water for a long time unlike rice hogs that cannot hold enough water so we mix in ratio of 60 40 that is a uh, block of cocoa peat to a bag of rice hogs um, now i'm going to start mixing my cocoa peat and my rice hogs yeah uh, the rice hogs is now evenly mixed together now let's go inside the greenhouse Yes, uh, here I am in the greenhouse. As you can see, my sulfate has been evenly laid. And uh, again, I have two types of grow bags here. I have the grow bag itself and the top system. And um, let me quickly show you um, this drip irrigation system. And design this place purposely because of uh, tomato plants. And as you know, because tomato plants are heavy feeder, that is why we are using arrowhead so that this can supply the nutrient to the root zone and again my spacing is at 60 centimeter interval and um, let me also remind you that um, the nutrient tag is at the back of the greenhouse is not far it's very close so that the pressure from the tanks can get to the uh, least plant down there so as you can see um, this is one of the arrowhead as you can see the water is dripping out these the nutrients is going to feed the root zone of the tomato plant and that is why we have specifically designed this place like that 